Hi guys, I'm Amy Dabo. I'm your Norwex Independent Consultant. I hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, I'm gonna talk all about stainless steel, how hard it is to keep clean, how to remove buildup if you've been using chemical cleaners, and then how to use Norwex moving forward, um, just using water alone. So I'm gonna show you two things. The first thing um, is if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please take a moment to do that. Subscribe and hit the bell for post notifications and you'll get notified every time I post a new video. And also if you like the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So two things we're gonna cover in this is how to remove buildup, first of all, from your stainless appliances. A lot of those chemical cleaners, they are extremely harmful to our health and the air quality in our home. They're harmful to children, but they also have really, I mean, they have strong fumes, but they also leave a buildup on our stainless. I have a little bit of buildup here on the bottom, so I'm gonna be able to show you how to do this. Um, and we'll hopefully we'll see the results in a video. So first let's remove buildup. So the Norwex Enviro cloth is our everything cloth. It's amazing. I use the Enviro cloth with the window cloth on just about every surface in my home, um, especially with the window cloth. It's a polishing cloth. And I use this on windows, mirrors, granite, all things shiny in my house. So you use the window cloth dry and the Enviro cloth wet. Norwex did come out with a stainless steel cloth, which is fantastic for cleaning your stainless and keeping it clean with just one cloth, and I'll show you how to use this too. But first, let's get some buildup off of our appliances. So what I use, I use my Enviro cloth wet, it's just wet with water, and not only will this clean really well, this also removes bacteria from the surface. So when I am focused on removing old chemical buildup, I will a lot of times grab my Norwex laundry detergent, believe it or not. Our laundry detergent, also known as Ultra Power Plus, UPP for short, is great at many things, not just doing laundry. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna dip a damp Enviro cloth into my Norwex laundry detergent. I'm just gonna get a teeny bit on there. I'm gonna work on the buildup. So we've got definitely, I already see a difference. So pulling away any buildup that's on there from any previous owners or, or um, chemical cleaners. I'm gonna use this all on the entire surface. Now I'm gonna go on the second level here. And I see a little bit of watermarks on the bottom. So I'm gonna dip just a tiny bit more. and get that nice and clean, get all the buildup off. Okay, so when I'm done uh, cleaning it, I'm gonna flip this inside out and I'm gonna remove any um, you know, small particles of the laundry detergent, get that off of the um, appliance. And the Norwex laundry detergent is chemical free, it is gluten free, so if you have gluten issues, this is not going to affect you. Um, in a negative way from that gluten standpoint, which I love. I have a lot of customers that are gluten intolerant and have told me wonderful things about how much this has changed their whole cleaning life. So, all right, now we're going to take the window cloth. So I physically scrubbed it. I removed all of the buildup and there was buildup on there, which I just didn't notice before. Um, so I'm gonna take the window cloth this first time and I'm just gonna go over it and polish it up. And I, I can feel the surface is much smoother and shinier than it was when we started. Like definitely a huge difference. So now that I have all the buildup removed, looks, looks fantastic. So now I'll use my stainless steel cloth just for maintenance, daily cleaning. Um, and our stainless steel cloth, cloth has a rough side and a softer side. So we want to use the rough side to clean and the soft side to polish. Just how we use the Enviro cloth to clean and the window cloth to polish. The stainless steel cloth is nice because it's an all-in-one cloth. Removes debris, removes fingerprints, germs. And then the other side is for polishing. 
So there's two ways to use this. You can get one side wet and keep the other side dry um, and use the wet side to clean. So sometimes I will do that in my sink and other times I will just use a little spray bottle of water. So when you are using your stainless steel cloth, you wanna mist the surface with water alone and we're gonna find the rough side. So you can definitely tell like one side's a lot fluffier so I'm gonna use the rough side to clean. And no harmful chemicals. I have despised how strong some of the um, stainless cleaners have been throughout my adult life, just um, trying to use them and not sneeze. Okay, so I've cleaned the surface with water and the rough side. Now I'm gonna flip the stainless steel cloth over and I'm gonna use the soft fluffy side to polish it because there's just a little bit of water left and I wanna get that off so it's nice and shiny. And it is squeaky clean now. All ready for me to cook and get it dirty again. Look at that, just such a nice clean. No chemicals, no paper towels. Paper towel waste used to be huge in my house. Now we just use the Norwex cloths. So that's how you use your stainless cloth. The other way, if you want, uh, if you don't have a spray bottle, we'll just get half of this wet with water under the sink right here. And now I have one a small wet side and I would really just use it the same way. I would take the rough side and I would clean, get it wet and it will leave the surface slightly wet. And then I'll immediately flip it over to the dry side on the, with the softer fabric, and then I will use that to dry it off and polish. So those are the different ways you can use it. And I tell you, this has never looked better. <laughs> um, looks really great. I don't have, I don't, I was looking at my phone to see if I could see any reflection, but really a nice job. It's completely clean and I've removed bacteria from the surface. So we get a lot of hands in this house touching things, especially like the bars here or doorknobs or light switches. So I love that my Norwex also removes bacteria so I can avoid using disinfectants in the home. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. I hope you have an amazing day. And if you liked the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Have a good one.